know how many these guys have played. These guys used to play back in the day when GV7 still showed up to stuff. Okay. Um, so, so do you know, do you know about GV7 too much? Uh, yeah, I play, I play him every now and then. Okay. No, he's, he's old school. He's been playing since Brawl. He's actually a well-known Rob Game & Watch in Brawl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's like, like, like I've played him a couple times, and um, he's actually really good. Yeah, I was like, wow, this guy, who is he? <laughs> <laughs> no, I played him at um at at the pit at AZ. Wait, who's playing anything? Yeah, he's playing. Yeah, he's playing. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, like gv 7s playing any ten right now. <laughs> oh, I don't know how, but some, I don't know if that was an SD or if. Uh, or if Nathan pulled some, but Nathan got the first stock. Uh, all right, let's see. All right, there we go. Now let's see how much extra credit Nathan yeah. can get. Ooh. Fighting Game & Watch is so tricky, especially with Sonic, yeah. who doesn't really have like a lot of range to deal with that. Yeah, it can be really hard. Ooh. It seems like... Now, it, seem, it seems like Nathan is... Is, is taking it, taking serious advantage of whenever uh, Jeepson misses these uh, uh, misses attacks. Like he turned his down tilt around at one point. Yeah, that's which is uh, as far as the times that I played GP7 is quite uncharacteristic of him. Right. No, gp 7s a pretty smart dude when he plays. Yeah. It's rare for him to make like big mistakes like that. Ah, Sonic just chases you across that stage so quickly, even while he was off the stage. And the chair. Oh, nice edge guard. Okay, so nice chair to just edge grab. That's yeah. all he needs. Ooh. That's nice. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he, he, burned really his, he burned his jump when he was trying to chase Nate 10 off the stage. Okay, so you can game though, but like, I don't know who I bet money on in this case. <laughs> oh, wow. That was very good. Very good spacing by GV7, just to racking on that damage as Nate10 is, is trying to get into on him. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> that yeah. parachute, and he makes it back though. Nice job by Nate10. Alright, okay, so now, no, now GV7's got a pretty solid lead on this. Do you think he's gonna do you think he's gonna approach a lot? If, if assuming, assuming he gets away from Nate10 here? Quick grab. No, he's going in still. He's like, nah, yeah, no, he's still going in. No, no, no. I don't know if yeah. he like switches at all, at all when, he, when he's in the lead, if he plays a bit more you know, more conservative or not. I mean, NA10 realizes that you can't really camp out. How is what is how is he supposed to play conservative like this against this character? Like, how would that work in that situation when you're down a stock against the character with disjoint and projectiles? No, Sonic I'm, can't really... I meant GV7, sorry. Oh, I, I don't okay, know okay, if I said NA10. I don't yeah, know. If I said Nathan, no, I you might have. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> All right. So, so GV Seven taking that first game pretty solidly. Alright, here we go. Game two. Is, this is uh, best two out of three, right? Yeah, I think. Loses quarters? Yeah. Apparently, someone found tech in melee where you can reduce the velocity of an attack by 5% if you do weird button inputs. Alright. Like two hours ago, they found this. That's interesting. Huh. I know, right? Like the, vol the velocity of that? I mean, the I velocity of the attack by 5%. Okay, I could see how that could be of use. But that sounds like a lot of work for very little reward, and mostly just a mind game. I'm not, no, it's not a mind game, it just reduces the amount of knockback. Like, straight oh, up. Oh, knockback. I thought just you were talking velocity. about like, the actual animation of the move no, itself. No, 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 like, you how cancel it, the velocity one, one, of, of the hit. Oh, okay. Digital... Oh, nice meteor smash by Nate 10, but does not quite get the kill. GV7 d does know how to meteor cancel those very efficiently. So, oh. 
Who is going to get the... Does, will this be the first... Nope, not quite. Oh, the Keyblade takes it. Looking, looking like Kingdom Hearts yeah, over here, Kingdom Game Hearts. Hearts. Nick 10 takes it right back. Yeah. Match reset. 3-3, three, three, three stocks apiece. Oh, that, that parachute, man. <laughs> yeah, it's... So, he's so quick too. Yep. Like Game Watch, he he doesn't it doesn't look like he'll be able to throw an attack like after after one's finished. But then you know, try to approach him and nope, down tilt. Yeah. <laughs> no down tilt is such a good move. It is, dude. But Nathan's got that he got the 69. Oh, not anymore. I spoke way too soon. Oh, nice meteor smash. And Nathan with right. the lead again <laughs> on his home stage. Oh, oh, he went wanted for the, that went for the meteor, but yeah, I, I respect it. If it worked, actually, not really. If it worked, game watch at 35, they're just up the. Nathan told me that was actually a true spike. Oh, is it? Oh, I lied. All right, I'm a liar. Never mind. Yeah, I don't know if um. No, I believe him. Yeah, I believe him. I believe him because yeah, he's, exactly. he's one exactly. who told me. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I know nothing about Sonic, but I know, I know enough. I know enough to know I don't know anything. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this character to know that there's so much I don't know. He's being, he's being really aggressive with those yeah. edge guards, though. Which, Ooh. which I always love it when A10 does that. When he when he just goes when he just goes in, it's always exciting to watch. It's like it's like watching Fox vs Falco in melee. You know, it's so fast. It's on uh, GC Mash here. I saw it. Taffa posted on Facebook, but here's here's the Reddit thread. Oh. Nice job by GV7 getting that F smash on Nate 10's approach. He knew he was coming. And that does take the kill, but now Nate 10 racking on a lot of percent. Can he close this out? Will he bring it to game three? Nice. Nate 10 playing really patiently right now. Really smart. Should grab me here. Oh no, it doesn't quite get it. Oh, will he get it? Oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, so he makes it back on the stage, no problem. He does get a little bit of percent off of it, but but so far 23% isn't a huge difference. Nate 10 just needs a really good hit, a really good read. And that's maybe. definitely going to be hard to do. It is, especially on Game & Watch. Because now he's because Game & Watch is so light that now that he's at the percent and, where he's not going to lead Oh, now he's at 50, he's at 60. He, he just went from 5, and now it's dangerous. Oh, yes, 80 it is. is dangerous. Oh, oh my gosh. I wish he wave dash forward instead of wave dash back. Yeah, me too. I was he, he probably could have followed it up with a down smash that would have killed. Yeah. Oh, the parachute! Oh, no! I was so hoping that was wow. going to go to game three. But good job on GB7. 